Hey everybody, we're back at it. We're gonna dig a little deeper into Never Let Me Go. More like can't put it down, am I right? Terrible joke. There's a fly in here. It's driving me crazy. Let's start here. What do these students at Hailsham study? One important thing about these students at Hailsham, and I don't think it's something we notice right away, is that they always seem to be studying art and literature. They're always writing poetry and making sculptures. They have music appreciation class. There's an art gallery. These students are primarily taught to make and appreciate art. One important episode from very early in the novel is this conversation Kathy has with Tommy. In that passage, Tommy recounts a conversation he had with Miss Lucy. What she said was that if I didn't want to be creative, if I really didn't feel like it, that was perfectly all right. Nothing wrong with it, she said. Kathy's kind of baffled by this whole thing, and it really suggests that making art is central to the lives of these young people. About a third of the way through the novel, we learn that these students are basically bred to be organ donors. So it's fair to ask, why are they at school at all? Why educate them? And to what end? And why is this artistic education thought to be the appropriate one for these students who are doomed to die so young? I think the function of art at Hailsham becomes a bit clearer for us when the students actually leave Hailsham and go to the cottages. At the very beginning of part two in the novel, we hear about these essays that students choose to write. And they seem a bit like a major research paper or an undergraduate thesis that a student might write prior to graduation, kind of like a final project. The Guardians had talked to us about our essays on and off throughout the last summer, trying to help each of us choose a topic that would absorb us properly for anything up to two years. The phrase absorb us properly is doing a lot of work here. It seems the idea is that these essays are supposed to give the students something to do. I think in some ways we can use the essay to reflect back on the other parts of the artistic education that these students have received. Can we understand all of the artistic enterprises at Hailsham as attempts to absorb the students? But this doesn't fully answer the question, because we can understand absorption in two ways. Are all the poems and the art projects merely distractions for the students to take their attention off of their fate? Or are these assignments earnest attempts to find meaning, to help them reckon with their mortality? Ishiguro's Never Let Me Go suggests that art might be a remedy for human mortality, but is it an effective remedy? Well, that depends. Does art merely distract us, or does it help us find meaning in the face of our mortality? There are other ways in which the student's artistic education prompts us to reflect on ourselves, on our own lives. We might be more like Hailsham students than we think. Let's remember that this is a work of speculative fiction, maybe science fiction. Speculative fiction often takes one aspect of human life or some element, one element of our communities, and then it zooms in and magnifies that element until it takes up the whole of the picture. It might be consumerism or sexism or our over-reliance on technology. So it's worth asking what element of our life, our world, is being magnified here in this novel? What's the relationship between us and the students at Hailsham? Well, consider this. What don't the students at Hailsham study? They don't study finance, science, technology, math. And why don't they study these things? They don't study these things because they're not gonna have conventional jobs. They're not gonna be doctors or computer programmers or welders or investment bankers. They don't need to learn how to code. So one difference between Hailsham students and real world students like you is that they're not made to study these things and you are made to study these things. Why do you have to study these subjects? But this difference between you and them actually reveals an eerie, creepy similarity between you and them. The thing that's unethical about the treatment of these people who grew up at Hailsham is that they're human beings who are treated as resources. But if you stop to think about the kind of education you've been given and the kinds of educational priorities your governments have, the things they promote, the things they prioritize, it becomes clear that you too are viewed as a resource. The skills you are taught in school are the skills employers want you to learn. And they want you to learn those skills because they want to use you as resources. The education that you are given is designed to promote economic productivity. The thing you need to figure out, the thing we all need to figure out, is how to live meaningfully and purposefully in the midst of a world that often seems to use human beings up as resources. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks very much for watching.